I still want to kill him. Alright, so I expect now some things will change with Sans and all the rest. So we'll be we'll be doing voice acting here because I don't think we'll see a lot of the same... Um, we won't see the f friendly dialogue from the neutral route. But we'll see, we'll see. Next up, full Knights of the Old Republic dark side run. Hmm... Alright. Here comes our spooky skeleton from behind. What do we get? Human. No shaking of hands? Maybe. Just less dialogue. Still did the same thing. Alright, we've seen this. It's always funny, even if you're killing everything. That's, uh, your clue to laugh. Or, huh, to emote at all. Uh, gee, lady. You really know how to pick them, huh? Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. We'll see what happens different. Some of this is different. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Hmm. Seems like we're not going behind the lamp. Uh, okay. I guess you don't have to. Sans! Have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wowie! Guess that's settled. Uh, that worked out, huh? <sighs> the good news is, we save a lot of time on dialogue. Are you just gonna stare at me? Or... You know what, guys? For fans, we can stand behind the lamp. There you go. Alright, yeah. Things should go fairly quick. Well, uh, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother really liked to see a human, so, you know, it really helped me out. If you kept pretending to be one. Heh. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend. There you go. 16 to go. And the music is totally different. It's like downshifted a fair ways. It's not in the right key. Use the box. I'll save the pie for later. All right, we found a snow drake. Kill it. It's a weird ice monster that makes terrible jokes. No puns allowed on this stream. I say that, but I mean, puns are always welcome. All right, look at all that experience and gold. If the skeletons in Undertale were human once, they may have just been born that way. So, Sans, when's the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best. Or at least my Tuesday pretty good. Uh, don't you only have one outfit? Yeah, but I could style my hair. Oh, right. Good idea. Say, why don't you look over there? Welcome, Renee. Oh my god! I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? Behold. Oh my god! Why are you telling me to look at a rock? Uh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! I have no idea what that is. Uh, well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no! By process of elimination, that means it's a human! Ahem, a human? Prepare yourself for hijinks and for lowjinks. Dangers, puzzles, capers, japers, being captured, and other sorts of fun activities. Refreshments will be provided, if you dare. Yeah! 
I gotta get my I gotta get my papyrus out before he before he dies. And you don't even bat an eye, huh? Well, Sans is on to us. And I gotta get my fun papyrus stuff done quick. Ice cap! No ice for you. But yeah, I'll I'll see if I can tell if Snowden Village has Flowey's theme. I'll, I'll try to listen. Oh, the dog barks when you hit it? How did I never know that? Probably because I would never dare attack a dog. Sorry, pupper. Such a horrible person. We just killed the dog! He didn't do anything! He just tried to give us a hug. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted... Yeah, okay. That's normal. Hmm... This dog's really cool, though. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. H hey! I can't stop shivering all of a sudden. Who's there? Oh, we're gonna have to kill Doggo now. I'm gonna have to get a drink. We're gonna have to take a break soon. I'm gonna have to inebriate myself through this. I'm sorry, Doggo, with a picture of a dog on his t-shirt. No. <laughs> Poor Doggo. He can't seem to find us. And we just kill him. You got some more love. We interrupted his dog snacks. He was just smoking some treats. It is New Year's Eve. I'll definitely get some alcoholic beverage soon enough. It's only 5 p.m. my time, so... Still fairly early. Hey, snowman. So, I've heard there's a couple things you can do with a snowman. <laughs> Stop, please. A useless pile of snow. I mean, that was pretty brutal, too. I feel worse about the dogs, but... On the plus side, uh... Three pieces of snowman... That's got to be good. It heals you a lot. Oh, man. <laughs> Poor snowman. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called uh, sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, the human arrives in order to stop you. My brother and I have created puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible. Uh, hmm. You must be having culture shock. You see, where I come from, it's a loving tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So, uh, just walk back there and... Nope. Uh, why couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? It would make my brother happy if you play along. It's not that kind of playthrough, Sans. It's just not... It's not gonna work like that. Don't kill Papyrus, Renee asks. Uh, this is the wrong stream if you want to have a good time. Uh, we already know about all that stuff, that's fine. The, uh, the title of the live stream does kind of infer what's going to happen to Papyrus. I'm sorry to say. Eat the snowman. I'm going to save the snowman for emergency healing. A human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? Uh, it's right there on the ground, trust me. 
There's no way they'll skip this one. Songs that did nothing! Uh, oops. Uh, I knew I should have put down Junior Jumble instead. What? Junior Jumble? Finally! Something we can both agree on! Cut a lot of dialogue out. <sighs> Guess you don't like word searches, huh? Me neither. I'm more of a funny pages kind of guy. Funny pages? Mm -mm. 13 to go. We better slow down here. 13's a lot of monsters. Warning! Dog marriage! Oh no! Even the dog marriage! We're gonna have to break up even that. Jerry does not look very happy. So I think that debunks the yellow um, sparable meaning that you can just one-shot them. Because he was yellow and he did not die in one hit. Jerry sneezes without covering its nose. I don't even know if I've ever fought a Jerry before. Like, this is the first time I've seen this monster. It's supposed to be a Seinfeld, isn't it? Seriously, did they give us new monsters on the, uh, whatever you call it, uh, on the current route? Awkward. <sighs> Stupid Jerry in his defense. I mean, it's good practice, I guess. All right, that's it. Get out of here. You've earned a ton of experience in gold, though. All right, well, let's go flick the switch. Am I not allowed to... Maybe because we're on the kill everything route, the genocide route. Um, I don't have to do that. Oh yeah, the spikes are already down. Of course, that makes sense. There's a few changes from the, uh, the normal route, that's for sure. I don't know if I'm gonna farm Dog Residue to get Temi Armor. I have a different plan for our, uh, really bad time. Well, close your eyes. Did I go bad because it speeds up the stream? No, I went bad because there's three sort of specifically unique endings, and I've already done two of them. And this is the last one we need to do for all three endings. And it might be a bit faster, we'll see. It sure speeds up the dialogue. Well, Dogami and Dogarissa. I'm a terrible person. Oh, right. They're saying sickly sweet things to each other. Uh... Yeah, I... I could not predict any fun values. I don't know enough to tell. I did have a rather rare one on the pacifist run-through because the, uh... Clam Girl was available. Wow. She's really mad. <laughs> I guess I don't blame her. Oh yeah, I gotta be way faster than that. <sighs> Oops, well, my heart wasn't into it. Well! Goodbye. Goodbye, dog marriage. So if an enemy is yellow, they stop attacking, maybe. Okay, well, we can try that next time. 
I, I know I need a few more battles here, so I'm hoping to get some more random encounters before I go too far. There is apparently a rare... Um, a really rare encounter that maybe I should try to get. Uh, there's a snow drake that we could try to fight. I think he's in um, the mysterious cave that's essentially the developer room. I like that I don't have to do any of the puzzles. So nice. So much faster. All right, here we go again. Hi, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great. Are you serious? Zan's help. They keep walking through my puzzles. They're supposed to let me explain them, then threaten and baffle them with dangerous japes. Well, maybe they don't like japes. Everyone likes japes. What about Auntie? Shh, doesn't she hate puzzles? She hates puzzles, but she loves japes. Hmm, that makes sense. Human, what do you think? Puzzles or japes? Okay, this is normally the part where you either agree or disagree. And depending on your answer, we say something great in response. Here, why don't you do this puzzle yourself? Hmm. It's broke. Hey, puzzles might be fun if you tried them. Yeah, well. Oh, no, no long dog, whatever you call him. Alright, we still got 11 to go, jeesh. Do we get, is there random battles on the screen? I don't remember. I never remember. Hold on, let me just check down here. At least I don't have to do any puzzles. Yeah, Sans knows what's going on, so... What's up? He's not impressed. Uh, say, are you following me? Yeah. Not where the random encounters are, just how many you need to fight. Like, there's 16 total random encounters on the way to Snowden. This room... Um, I've never actually been in it before, but I have come to the understanding that this is actually the developer room, and there's something you can do to get in there. I think you need Sansa's key or something, so you're gonna have to be on a good route to get in there, I think. Anyway, I believe this room specifically has a very rare random encounter that you usually wouldn't get to see. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time here hoping to get one random encounter. You know, I'm not going to spend forever, but I'll give it a, a minute or so. Maybe I'll turn the lights off. Clearly the monsters will come out better like that. Hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's not this room. I'm pretty sure it's this room, though. I can check. Um... This not that enemy. I'm pretty sure there is one. It's like some sort of mini boss sort of thing. It's okay, Hervis. I do know what's essentially in his his lab. Well, this is certainly not working out. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere where it's more likely to get random battles. Yeah, unfortunately, it does appear like the worst part of the genocide route is just grinding for the last few encounters. Um... Yeah, that's the problem, probably. Just one to five minutes randomly wandering around or holding still trying to get an encounter. Not the kind of thing I like to do on camera a whole lot.
Well, here goes the final boss, for those of you fans of Dunkey. Oh, greater dog. Sorry. Goodbye, greater dog. I'm sorry again. I don't believe WD Gaster is a font. Gaster is like a type of lettering or something, but Sans and Papyrus are the only like proper fonts. Yeah, he has dogs all over his dog. It's Dogception. Alright. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold! The Gauntlet of Deadly Terror! The dog is the most dangerous part. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Uh, well, what's the hold up? Hold up. What hold up? I'm about to activate it now. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to walk through it, and it won't be any fun at all. Mm. So this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them, so I'll become a famous Royal Guardsman. But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party without traps and fire. Exactly! It's pointless. Maybe you were right to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah, what am I saying? You're still completely wrong. I just have the wrong audience. Think about how much fun Undyne would have here. Flames, violence, it's right up her alley. So I won't waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. And he finally gives up on us. I don't know, Shot. I have a feeling we could have walked right through, killed the poor dog, and Papyrus, and that'd have been that. A valuable life lesson! Yeah! Well, now comes the fun part. Hmm. Guess we don't need your help to have a good time after all. Oh, Sans. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're gonna fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now... You're gonna have a bad time. That's the name of the stream. And he just blinks out of existence, just like that. Alright, no time for Happy Snowden. We gotta go back. We, we, we can't fight Papyrus until we finish out this area. Well, yeah, the, the annoying dog that's basically a glitch, maybe. Ooh, it's a very angry Snowdrake. No bedtime, only dead time! Wow. Now, I'm not sure if it's worth... ...killing Jerry. Just looking at my little chart on the side, I think we can save a lot of time by not killing Jerry's and just focusing on killing everything else. Because, I mean, let me go back to the save point. I think we've got a lot of killing to go. We're probably at like 10 random encounters left. No, I'm pretty sure you can spare Jerry's. Um, let me see, I'm just reading, I'm reading on the side here. Sparing certain monsters allows the protagonist to avoid fighting particular monsters such as Jerry. Nine left. You just have to keep fighting until that counter goes to the zero. Oh, sure, just fall right down. 
And yeah, the glide is the... You know, maybe I should go... What do you think? Should we try to fight the glide mini-boss? I would like to see all the enemies at least once. And there is a, a random encounter we haven't seen yet. Please kill Jerry. We have killed one Jerry. It's just that they take a long time to kill. The reason I don't want to kill Jerry is he's got too much defense. Um, should move that mouse cursor out of the way. Or the glide room is like the other direction completely. Did I go the wrong way? I probably went the wrong way. It's, you know, I know where it is. <sighs> it's cool. It's cool. Don't get mad. I'm supposed to be having a bad time, so you're not supposed to have fun, really. It's supposed to be punishing for the player. It's, it's the way it is. Is it any different? Nah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember the way to get to the Glide secret room. And then I'm going to take a short break to go get some drinks. Because this is going to require some drinks. And I encourage you all, for your New Year's Eve celebration, to enjoy yourself a little bit of... Uh, Beverages of one sort or the other. And then we will spend the next half an hour grinding for uh, random encounters, unfortunately. This is, this is the one. I'm looking up a glide right now to see what the exact requirements are to get it. Nope, I fell off. My bad. In order to encounter a glide, you must go to the mysterious door room, which is just over here. And move for about three minutes. The encounter must happen... Oh! No, before the final fight. So, you have to fight the glide before you fight Papyrus. And the more you've killed, the longer it takes. Oh. So, unfortunately... It's possible that by having killed everything already, it could take like 30 minutes for Glide to show up. Which is a little bit too long for me. So if you want to fight the Glide, go into that room without killing anything. And you'll probably find him a lot easier. If it is actually 30 minutes, I'm not sure I've got that kind of time. That's a little bit nuts. Yeah, but, but, but I need to get to the end of the game before New Year's, right? Alright, I know there's encounters on the bridge, we're just gonna stay here. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break, get some drinks, and uh, we'll do the, the, the Snowden area monster grind then when I get back. So, everyone take a stretch, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 